Well, hello there, motherfuckers. And I've got an interesting idea here for a video. You know, here's the thing. We all know that ratings are down. Last Raw got a 2.93, I believe it was. And that was with The Rock returning. They still couldn't reach their goal of mediocrity, which is the beautiful, sexy 3.0. Yeah, you know, they're they're all, you know, uh, obsessed with getting a 3.0. Back in the day, they used to get, you know, they used to get 6s and 7s and 8s and even more than that. You know, but they're settling on mediocrity, fucking mediocrity to the fucking extreme. The, the, the fucking 3.0, the beloved 3.0 that they've been at for like over 10 years now, over 10 years over 15 years now. We lose track of time. We haven't realized that the ratings have been fucking shit. They've been going downhill since 2001, 2002. And that's even when the product was at least kind of good. And it was still going downhill, in my opinion. I thought it was pretty decent around that time. But the de decrease in quality happened, you know, not too long after that. But here's the thing, a lot of people notice that after Survivor Series, the ratings started to fucking drop and we started going below the fucking 3.0 where they had been at for years. They had never, you know, really, a couple of times they went below that, but then they got back and they haven't been able to get there since November again. And, it, you know, it's fucking driving them insane. You know, McMahon says he doesn't care about the ratings, but we all know that McMahon's not a retard. Anybody wouldn't be happy with ratings going down that much. But something that they have, you know, something that I've noticed that's happened since then is Cena hasn't been on the show. And I noticed a lot of YWCers on here are fucking cowards. You know, they're scared. They fear Cena. They don't want to talk about John Cena, you know. We like to forget about Cena and shit like this, but, you know, Cena is the face of the company. Without a doubt, he still is. And he, as, as long as the man is alive as he's breathing, he's always going to be the face of WWE, of the current era at least. So, you know, the thing is, I don't know why everybody in the YWC likes to pretend that, you know, Cena is not like an asset to WWE. You know, Cena is a popular guy. Let, let, let's admit it. The guy is a draw. Whether you fucking like to admit it or not, the man puts asses in the seats. Now, you notice since Cena has been injured, the ratings have also gone off the deep end. Yes, it may be due to Roman Reigns, you know, being champion and being in the main events. But I got a sneaking suspicion that Cena's got something to do with it. Now, I'm not 100% sure it could be anything. It could be the fact that, you know, it could be one of fucking 100 different reasons. It could be because John Cena's not there. It could be because people don't like Reigns. Being at the top, why Cena's not there. It could be number three, that people are just fucking sick and tired of WWE and they don't want to watch it anymore because they're sick of getting slapped in the fucking face every single time they watch it. Or it could be that number four, that everybody's too busy jerking off the porn. I don't fucking know. It could be any fucking reason. It could be any fucking reason under the sun. But it is interesting to think that maybe, maybe Cena is more crucial to the product than we once thought. Now, I had said this on a number of occasions. There are far worse wrestlers on the roster and throughout the history of WWE than John Cena. And I said this time and time again. People said, Cena can't wrestle. And those people are fucking retards. We all know that Cena can wrestle. Cena is actually responsible for some of the best matches in WWE. He was also part of one of the largest fucking grossing WrestleManias of all time 
with WrestleMania 28 between him and The Rock. You think if Cena wasn't over that people, you know, would watch that? No, they wouldn't. I'm sorry to say, but they they wouldn't. They're not they wouldn't have watched that if it was say say it was any other wrestler. Say it was Batista and The Rock. Not as many people would watch it if it was Cena and The Rock. And, and that that is the fucking truth, motherfucker. Cena is very over. Now, I have fucking joked about Cena. I've made fun of him on this channel. I've tried to downplay him and everything. That's because I think he's a fucking cheap-ass character. It's a lame character. And his Superman gimmick is fucking retarded. Now, here's some insight on the Superman character, and I see what they're getting at. They want to make Cena more indestructible than any other wrestler ever, even more than Hulk Hogan. Even Hogan jobbed more than the than fucking John Cena. Cena, they want to make like this guy can overcome anything. Uh, you know, I know that I'm treading on familiar ground here, but for anybody that just thinks WWE is fucked up, I'm I'm trying to you know play de devil's advocate and kind of get inside their head a little bit. They want to make like Cena is undefeatable. He's never tapped out. He's never done any of this fucking shit. So he's going to look fucking unbeatable. And you have to admit, they have booked Cena to look strong, a little bit too strong. But there's a lot of integrity when it comes to John Cena. It might be going fucking overboard. But, you know, you take a look at John Cena... And you have to say that, well, you know, the guy has a lot of credibility to him. When a guy wrestles Cena, it means something. He looks like a big star. You can't just look at Cena and say that he's nothing because they've built on him too much. The guy is pretty fucking famous. He's made a lot of public appearances. For, God, for Christ's sakes, he was in a fucking uh, popular movie that just came out last year, Trainwreck. You know, and he was actually in a pretty funny part of the movie. So you can't really say that, um, you know, that Cena is not a big star and that WWE doesn't need him. They do fucking need him. And I'm going to be fucking honest. Every time I go to a WWE event, I listen to, you know, prior to going, you know, I hear everybody in the YWC, everybody, oh, Cena's for the kid. Cena's for the... Listen here, motherfuckers. Take a look at Sean's View Entertainment. You see that guy? He's a fan of Cena, right? Okay. Well, you know, a lot of people have a lot of different things to say to Sean. No disrespect to the man. But when I go to a WWE event, I see plenty of fucking full-ass grown men. They are wearing Cena gear from top to bottom. The hat. The wristbands, the shirt, they're full fucking, you know, um, got the whole fucking full on Cena get up. Okay? Got the full Cena get up on. Some of them have kids, but a lot of them don't. So there you go. You know, John Cena is popular. He gets a, you know, um, a lot of negative reactions when he comes out. But here's the thing. Do you notice the difference between Roman Reigns and John Cena? You know, with the unpopularity. With Cena, it's almost like the hatred towards him is jokey. Like, we all know that he's not the most horrible thing, but we treat him as such. And when he has a good match, we all fucking cheer and we're thankful for it, for the most part. You know, the ones that can admit, at least, that Cena isn't bad. You know, isn't a bad wrestler, isn't a bad talent, and doesn't have bad matches. He just has a fucking shit-ass character that's way too overblown. When Roman Reigns comes out, the man gets fucking booed. It's just a straight-up fucking boo and nothing else. No nothing else around it. It's just fucking Roman Reigns getting booed, and that's all it is. And he gets booed. And John Cena... People are saying, John Cena sucks. You know, they're fucking rhyming, you know, the chant along with his fucking theme song. 
would see, so you see what I'm saying? It's more pure hatred towards Reigns. It's just a fucking cold ass boo. With John Cena, he gets this big lively reaction, even though it's a negative reaction. John Cena gets one of the biggest fucking reactions out there. And, you know, at least it's creative. And people really get into it. And, you know, it, it, it really is. It's just that. And it's not like a lot of people say that Cena doesn't deserve what he's gotten. We all say that Roman Reigns, he hasn't deserved a single fucking thing. But at least you got to say that at least Cena kind of deserves some of what he got. Because the guy did worked pretty hard to get where he was, you know, and he was pretty popular for a time. And the thing is, in 2003 and 2004, mostly in 2004, this guy was getting some of the biggest fucking reactions I ever fucking heard from the crowd. The guy was super fucking over. He was, it wasn't until they made it really fucking overblown to the point where it was getting fucking ridiculous with him winning all the time. That is when people started to lose their shit and started the whole John Cena sucks chance. So there's a little bit of backstory right there. You know, Cena is a talented guy, but he's been trapped with a shitty ass character that they should have pulled a little bit back on the reins and got it a bit more under control. But he doesn't fucking suck. And I think that WWE does need him. And that is a big reason why people are not watching. Things are just more interesting when Cena is around. Just like when he had the US Open Challenge. Yes, even I admitted it. It kind of was that he was burying every single wrestler from a certain perspective. But then again, you could say that he was giving those guys a chance to shine on a very large stage. You know, against one of the biggest stars of all time in the history of the company. I mean, look at the U.S. title now. It doesn't mean jack fucking shit. It's around the waist of fucking Kalisto. A fucking glorified jobber to say the fucking least. Now, you know, without Cena, that belt doesn't mean anything. And you could clearly fucking see that. And you could see that things are just so fucking bland and when Cena's there I mean take a look at this the whole fucking Raw that I went to um, where it was Vince McMahon getting arrested that was at the Barclays the whole fucking night that show was as flat as you could fucking get it was boring as fucking shit Cena comes out and it's like the fucking crowd awoke from a, a fucking 300 years slumber that was a fucking rumbling crowd. The crowd came alive for Cena. People just get energized, negative or positive, about Cena. You know, there's one thing with people going boo against Roman Reigns. That's not energized or anything. That's just fucking bored with Reigns. That's just booing him because he fucking sucks. With Cena, it's like people fucking get up. They get out of their fucking chairs. They reawaken. It's energizing. And Cena is full of a lot of energy. It, it, it really is. You can't say that Cena is boring. I mean, it does get a little bit boring seeing him be so dominant all the time. But without Cena, it, you know, things are fucking boring. And that's pretty much what I just wanted to bring to light, really. It was fucking killing me that people in the YWC weren't talking about this. Because it's like, we all... We all want to throw around different theories of why we think the ratings are going down. When in all honesty, one of the biggest reasons is right there in front of our fucking faces. It's because John Cena's not there. And that is, that has to be a playing factor here. I find it very hard to believe that John Cena not being there at the moment is, you know, just, it, it doesn't matter. No, I, I don't think so. I think it definitely does matter. And I think that they're really paying for it now. You know, Cena's injured. He still won't be back for a little bit. We have saw some updates on Twitter and shit. Um, you know, the, the guy still can't lift, you know, um, weight really that, that well. So, and he's not going to be back in time for WrestleMania. I, I fucking doubt that. You know, the WWE.com video... 
Oh, these guys are gonna be ba Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you for even fucking teasing that fucking shit. We're not fucking morons. I think he was one of the guys they, they fucking uh, advertised in that video. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, John Cena coming back. I gotta be quite honest. I'm kind of looking forward to it because it does energize things a bit. Am I a John Cena fan? No, not exactly. Uh, but, you know, there are certain things about Cena that I do like. There's a lot of things about him that I don't like. And no, I'm not, you know, coming out of woodwork as a closet John Cena fan, but hell, you know what? I'm, you can hear it in my voice. I'm sick. Maybe I'm I'm fucking out of my mind. I'm going crazy. I don't I, I don't know, but I just I kind of thought about this, and I, I think that it's true. What do you guys think? Is the, do you think that the ratings have something to do with John Cena's absence? Because I'm pretty sure they fucking do.